Good morning. Yeah, we're still having breakfast. It's interesting. The way the population has boomed in Texas over the last several decades has been at one time because businesses like State Farm or Pepsi were moving into the area. Of course, the great economics and the cultural environment. But now they're calling Dallas, as you pointed out, Wall Street West. Now, Rogers Healy has a venture capital firm. And you're talking about Goldman Sachs yeah. moving headquarters to Dallas. That's going to have a massive impact. Huge impact. I mean, a million square feet in the you know epicenter of you know Victory Park, downtown Dallas, adding 5,000 and jobs, it really changes everything and it puts us on the map, you know, differently. Dallas has kind of been the forgotten town and like, oh, Dallas is a great place to stop over, but it's becoming a hub. It's Wall Street West. And I think when that happens, people look at it differently. It's affordable. It's centrally located. Now there's obviously job growth too. 5,000 jobs. I mean, you multiply that by, of course, households and then the spinoff jobs and the economy creates. That's yeah. the population compounding. Yeah, and the people have to move here because of Goldman Sachs in general. I remember Toyota moved their headquarters here a few years back. Other companies had to move here just because they were supported right. by Toyota. So yeah, the, I mean, the, the wave effect of this is pretty significant. And again, Dallas is becoming something that's a real competitor and it's competing against places like Manhattan.